Hey, everyone. Hey, uh, hey, Ansel Lee here. Welcome to another edition of Ansel Lee Live. This is a uh, our our series on on the fuel uh, cohort um, that's going on this spring in Benville, Arkansas. And uh, as I talk to uh, uh, the, the founders here, co-founders here, uh, they tell us we're, they're about halfway through the fuel cohort. So, um, hey, I want to introduce our, our guests today. They are um, the co-founders of Taproot. And, um, and I'm going to try not to butcher this, Linda, but Linda Buscemi. You get perfectly. Perfect. There you go. And then Scarlet Spring. Hey, great to have you guys on today. Oh, it's great being here. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. It, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, getting to Scarlet, especially just getting to meet you up at the, um, you know, the introductory of everything was fantastic. And so hearing what you talked about then, I'm, I'm very excited to hear about, you know, everything you're going to say today. Also, hello, everyone. I'm Ansel Lee the Fourth. I was oh, not I forgot to introduce Ann. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I apologize. Of course. Hey, hey. So, real. Let's jump into this real quickly. Hey, if you guys give us a, give us some get some context. What's tell us about your background? Yeah, yeah go. sure. I'll go. Uh, I've been a psychologist for a little over twenty eight years now. Um, really started off in in outpatient uh, helping people, and then went to a health plan, and then a consultant. And um, really, uh, really enjoyed the last 15 years of my career as a consultant, uh, focusing more on the cognitive uh, folks that have cognitive challenges in the Alzheimer's dementia space. Uh, yeah, and, and my background's a little more business related. I grew up in big pharma. And so after a 20 year uh, career in pharmaceuticals, I ended up retiring and kind of got bitten by the, uh, the startup bug. So I've, uh, I've been in a medical device space uh, for early lung cancer detection. And then Linda and I started um, really uh, Taproot and Taproot Ella was, was kind of based off Linda's consulting practice that she had had for over a decade. Um, so when we really began this and looking at, you know, can you use an automated tool to be able to de-escalate um, high risk behaviors? That was really kind of what uh, got us interested to see, is this something that we could build to scale these uh, dementia experts that uh, really do help in the senior living communities and in other areas? Well, perfect. Well, thank you for that. And that actually goes right perfectly into my my next question about, you know, uh, Linda, like you said, this is kind of your background, really, fully, truly. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, what kind of is the genesis? Why did you come up with this? What need did you see uh, out there that you were like, I have to do this? Yeah, I mean, stemming from, uh, like I mentioned, just my career and seeing the cascade of things happening and really trying to find this industry that doesn't have enough experts and caregiver turnover and looking at, um, you know, my, my mother-in-law retired early, uh, taking care of her mother. And when she began starting to have some of those dementia related behaviors, we like to call them reactions. It's actually someone's reacting to a situation. They're not behaving badly, but you don't know how to necessarily take care of that person. when You're looking at this fun loving person, um, who now is becoming aggressive and agitated and right. the person caring for them has no idea why. I mean, 90% of folks that have dementia will have these type of behaviors, reactions. And so um, being able to provide the personalized way of preventing that agitation or at least reducing any escalation of that event, usually folks don't know how to do that. And Ella, that's what I've done in my consulting was help people figure out these non-pharmaceutical ways of approaching someone. Ella's doing that from an automated way. Oh, fantastic. And you mentioned Ella in there a few times. So what exactly is that? Well, Ella is a caregiver tool. It is a tool for caregivers of persons who have these symptoms of Alzheimer's dementia. But it really, our mission is to really help caregivers um, who are caring for someone who can't express their care needs. So uh, the, the, we are also in uh, individuals who are experiencing some symptoms of mental illness. Uh, our, one of our next verticals is looking at autism. Uh, traumatic brain injury, as mm -hmm. well as just high-risk de-escalation events. Um, so when you think about that, that's really what we built uh, Ella for. A, a dear friend of mine said, I would do anything 
and I would pay anything. Right. If I had 10 more quality non-combative moments with my father. And what we're trying to do is to give loved ones back those, um, those happy moments and um, uh, with, with the people that they love. Wow. Oh, that is, that is incredible, really. So how, you know, in that, how does, uh, how does this process work? Yeah, well, uh, basically, it's so it's automating an expert. So when someone is having some agitation, as an example, we we often ask, okay, first of all, what type of dementia do they have? There's over 100 different kinds of dementia. So vascular dementia is going to present different than frontal temporal dementia, FTD, which is what, what Bruce Willis has, right? So you have those, there's differences in, in, in the type of, of the disease. It's very complex. And so we would continue to ask those questions around what's happening, when is it happening? Um, you ask background information about that person, because again, you're trying to tap in, which is where taproot came, come, comes from, the long-term memory, so you can have a better, a more successful interaction. And so our uh, machine learning looks at all that information uh, to then tailor that approach to uh, to the caregiver. Cool. So, cool. So are, are, are you guys using, you've mentioned machine learning, are you using any AI in this uh, with the product uh, to help we are. As a matter of fact, one of the reasons that we initially went into the senior living communities, not, not that senior living has the majority of Alzheimer's and dementia patients, the majority of them are actually uh, at home, but it was a rifle shot into the highest number of caregivers and a very uh, niche group of uh, individuals who are living in assisted living and skilled nursing facilities. And what we did is that's where we began to train those uh, predictive analytics. And so as we continued to build our data lake, it's really presenting some very interesting information, not only the, the way that we're able to de-escalate just the number of reactions that an individual is happening, but also the severity and how, you know, how successful that we're being. We're even beginning to look at some very interesting, as Linda mentioned, different types of dementia present different types of um, behaviors or what we call reactions. And so you can very much now begin to coach that caregiver on ways of being able to prevent, de-escalate those moments. We also try to uh, offer some, some ways of scheduling to try to give that caregiver more time because uh, the day just absolutely gets, um, you know, uh, lost, if you will, in the caregiving of someone else. And many times we find that the caregiver is not taking care of themselves. So that's what Ella, that's what we've named her because it elevates caregiving. So that's how we got uh, Ella's name is Great. that's what Ella does. It is an app that we ask family members to load up personal information up front so that we're providing an automated response to be able to be as um, as person centered as a, as a as possible. Wow! And really, with that, uh, you know, having that family you know, familiar stuff in there. And as I was watching the uh, video, kind of describing it earlier, it was like you know, say a person um, she was need to be bathed, and it was like, well, you know, she won't get in the shower, won't get in the bathtub, and then it was like, well, you you know, you need to get cleaned up so you can read to your grandkids or read to kids. And so using that kind of, I don't want to say it's not a, not a trick, but it's like, how do you, how do you move them along? And it's really something that only the family would know, you know, having all the clinical information in there is fantastic. And I'm sure it covers so many uh, different scenarios, but really having that familial touch in there uh, exactly. seems so important. I mean, if you think people, when people have problems thinking, I mean, that's the way we like to look at it. Because again, it's not just Alzheimer's dementia that we're, that we're really working with, especially in our future endeavors. But it really is, if you have a problem thinking, then you need someone to help you. And as a caregiver that may or may not have um, expertise in this area, most, of, most people don't, uh, nor should they, if they're an engineer, why would they understand this? Yeah. Really what we informally say our tagline is, which it's not, but it's just, just give them the answer because it's really hard to, to synthesize that information. So when Scarlett mentioned, we asked for personal information, what we mean by that is, tell us any history that could have happened. You know, a, a real live example is we had a, a lady who fell off of a horse when she was 13 and broke her clavicle. And so the caregiver went through, we knew all that information, right, background information. Um, and when we knew that, when Ella was asking questions around, she was hitting out every time we, I'm changing her clothes. 
of course, the psychologist would ask, just as Ella would ask, okay, is she hitting you when you take her shirt off? Yes. Her pants? No. Her shoes? No. So Ella, all of a sudden we noticed that she broke her clavicle. So the intervention would be then to don't dress in, you know, an overhead because you're pulling her shoulders up and she's reacting. She's hitting you saying, stop it because yeah. you're hurting me. And so now the intervention is wear, you know, a button up shirt and she stopped hitting. So mm -hmm. again, that's a really complex thing. It doesn't sound like it's complex, but it right. really is. Right. You know, figure that, that piece out. And so that helped us to not, you know, push any uh, medication to calm her down because we had a non-pharmaceutical approach to help her. And I think that's the other thing is, is we've been able to show in two different um, uh, white papers is this reduction in psychotropic medications. One was in a smaller uh, subset, a 13% reduction. And that really gave Linda and I early on the confidence that we've got something here. Um, but even recently, one of our providers that we were working with uh, conducted their own external and showed a 20% reduction in psychotropics. So what we know is that it works. And then if you can really help a caregiver know the best way to approach someone, then you are going to have less of the, of these uh, escalated behaviors. So, so thank you. And so you mentioned your white paper. So you, you've been rolling this out. Um, and how are you doing uh, with the rollout of the product? And, and where are you in that? Yeah, so we have a, a little over about 1,100 um, residents and clients on the platform. This year, 2024, we are launching into or have launched into home care because we want to get to that consumer eventually. So as Scarlett mentioned, we had the population was whole in, in, in communities, and that's where my consulting business was. And so that continues to grow. Um, getting We're in about four different states right now, but we want to get to that home care. And so we're now into home care um, where you have the family using it and the paid home care person going in for you know four to six hours a day. And then later this year, we actually will be uh, available right for that family mm -hmm. caregiver. And Correct. we're looking to be able to deploy uh, uh, mm -hmm. up to five individuals that are within that. And, and if you're anything like my family, you know, there's a group of cousins that have these text messages that try to, right. to uh, you know, pitch in. And, and what we're really doing is trying to enable everyone who's really touching that loved one, doing their best to help them stay home as long as they can, because everyone wants to stay home. Yep. Then, you know, know, how do we support that team of individuals to do that? Awesome. And uh, well, I, I applaud you. I happen to be at that stage um, uh, myself with my, my parents. And it is, um, you know, I'm very thankful. Yeah, but, I, but I see others and how they're dealing with it. And, and yeah, talking about those, those uh, text threads, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah, and being on those. Um, so, hey, so how can can uh, someone find out more about uh, Ella? Yeah, our website, Taproot Ella, www.taproot Ella. Um, you can leave us a message there. Um, also, just happy scarlet at taprootella.com. So uh, happy to you know talk with you if you want to learn <coughs> any more uh, or just go on our website, learn a little bit and send us a note there. Cool. And uh, can folks reach out to you here on LinkedIn? Absolutely. Well? Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Fantastic. Well, uh, um, I have just one last question before we run off here. You know, as a, you know, we got to know each other through uh, fuel and you got to get this great experience. How, uh, how exactly has that been? It's been amazing. Oh. I mean, I, I, I didn't know what to expect and it's just been out. It's, it's been wonderful. Not one of the reasons that we, we were, uh, we were really right up front with, with Tom and Darian and said, look, we know we've got something we're moving uh, into that uh, consumer area, but we believe that there's a business opportunity uh, to be looking and will you help us find it? I cannot tell you between the support that just, uh, we have gotten from the business community to actually sit down. They are actually the the, the folks who have said, you need to look at de-escalation maybe a little broader in other areas of de-escalation. And so it has been just eye-opening and kind of opening doors that we would not have thought about. Um, so I'm super happy um, that uh, with, and, and it's fun. The people mm -hmm. that we've met are going to I be lifelong friends, including both of you. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Well, but thank you. And, you know, that's one of the things I see in the, the cohort and how close they become. And, 
it's uh, it's just pretty it's a pretty neat thing and uh pretty special and uh hey just want to let you know we've got a comment here uh from nancy um i just want to read she says yes staying at home safely and happily was was very much a struggle for us as well thank you nancy for that comment and uh, I, you know that's what you said. You know, just again, rang resonated with me. Is you know everybody wants to be home. You would re much rather be home. Okay. And um, so uh, that's. But you know, dealing with this and, and being able to get a a tool like this to help you, uh, what a what a what a blessing that is. That's yeah. that, and, and we're all in this. I, I'm 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 right there with you, Nancy, and and Ansel right there with you, um, and that's exactly it. Our loved ones want to stay home, and you know I'm a couple of states away. Thank goodness my brother lives next door, but it really does help us to be able to support each other sure. um, because you got to care for the caregiver um, as that caregiver then can turn around and and do the best thing for the, for our loved ones. Yes. Well, hey, listen, guys, thank you uh, for being on here today. And uh, man, I wish I wish you much, much success. And again, if someone wants to find out, uh, uh, they can go to uh, taprootella.com and, um, and and check this out. And uh, hey, hey, wish you well in the uh, in the, 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 the fuel cohort. You're in good hands. Absolutely. And uh <laughs> And I hope it's a wonderful experience sure. with you. And we'll we'll be seeing you up there soon. Absolutely. Look forward to seeing Thank you, guys. you so much. We appreciate it. You bet. You bet. Thanks. Thanks again. Thanks for everybody for joining us today. Hey, talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.